right, let's look over this as best we can here. I'll tell you everything I know about it, everything we've seen. Motor sounds good, drives down the road very nice. That ABS VDC light. Um, the ABS is working. Um, not sure how to get it off. I think it's probably the VDC really causing it, but it's like a not sure what the problem is. Uh, I don't know if it's really a problem. It's just kind of a thing it's decided to do. It is an older car. Practically a classic. Keep that in mind. We just have that going on there. But nice shifts. It's doing the things that these these always did over the years. Just great, solid motoring. around the corners. Oh, he drives like a much newer car. AC seems to be blowing cool. Good. That Macintosh stereo is nice. One of the speakers crackles a little. But uh, power windows work. Shifts are immediate. It's a smooth drive. Braking feels as good as they do. Go on this really bumpy road. Has a good amount of power. Gets going. Has a great feel to it. Uh, it is from Maryland. It spent part of its life in Illinois. This is a two-owner vehicle. Uh, it has lots of good service records on it. A total check not too long ago by the last owner. It has that nice sunroof, double sunroof. Actually, this is a really rough road and I'm flying along, so... Let's uh, take a walk around and you can see what I see. I used to own one of these, so it's all very familiar. Okay, here's the sound of the engine. Sounds nigh on perfect. <clears throat> All right, so it did not grow up in Ohio, which is great, which means lots of little spots are nice and clean on it. Um, has that great pearl paint. Not even too many nicks, nicks, few. Has a little bump there pieces stuck out but that's not a crack it's just the it is the winter edition with the heated windshield wipers the brush there that thing looks real good this side just see nice and clean that's just dirt dirt in there. None of that, that's all solid, clean. All that's amazingly clean and solid. A little bit of dirt. No bubbles or anything there. As far as I've seen underneath, it's been super rainy all day. I mean, it's a nice 
nice and clean. It's got a real serious undercoat somebody has on it. One thing that did pop up as I was just walking around is it caught a little rust there. You know, if it weren't for that, I'd say she was rust free. But however, maybe the water sits funny right there, but it's just that one spot on that whole thing. I was surprised to see it, but you know, sometimes in the design of the vehicle, it happens. We got the racks and the this hood weighs a ton. These things are built like trucks. There's the engine. The big boxers at six. It's all spectacularly clean. battery I mean overall a great example a little bit of a design flaw creeped into it a little bit but uh, you know one to baby and love and keep on the road for a long long time um, just looking for the right Subaru fan out there to recognize it Oh, look, there's a little bubble right there. A little bubble there, too. All right, now you know, or not, know what I know. Give me a call, 330-501-2948. Thanks.